Welcome to Gone Fishing Pro. I'm Tyler Feaster with Real Fishing in Kentucky. Today we're out at Cedar Lake and we're here with the owner of Cedar Creek Lake Outfeeders, Mr. Randy Phillips. How you doing, sir? It's fine. It's fine. This is an awesome bait shop that services Kentucky's only trophy bass fishing lake here at Cedar Lake. Um, stop in when you get a chance. These guys are great. You know, Real Fishing in Kentucky is all about the local guy being a resource to Kentucky anglers and that's exactly what these gentlemen are doing. So we're going to be fishing for some largemouth bass this episode. We're going to be battling Mother Nature's fickle roller coaster of spring weather here in Kentucky like all of you all know who are local to me. So sit back, enjoy the show, and get out and do some fishing when you're done. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, Tyler Feaster with Real Fishing in Kentucky. Right now we're at Cedar Creek Lake, second week of April, and uh, a little chilly today, we just had a cold front come through. I think I've said that about a thousand times. Welcome to Kentucky. That's just how it is. I stopped at the local tackle shop here, Cedar Creek Lake Outfitters. Got a little bit of advice before coming out and fishing. And uh, he said, stick to the warmer waters because we had a drop in water temperature. It was around 58, 57. Now we're closer to 50, 53. So I found this nice little pocket hiding from the wind. And uh, I'm tossing the red crankbait that he suggested to try and land us a good fish today. Oh, I had a little bump there. Let's back the boat up and hit that spot again. Let's see if lightning can strike twice. I love the wind, don't you? I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> I'm pushing back towards the wind, having a blast. All right, let's see if we can get that guy to bite again or see if it was just a stick. No, that's not where we wanted to go. We're just gonna reel that booger right back in. Now we're talking. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Just got a strip in line. He doesn't want to come up. There he is. Oh, look at that. Got him stuck on a stick. How does that happen? Oh, look at that. <laughs> we'll, feel, we'll deal with that mess here in a little bit. Oh, look at that lunker. <sighs> I mean, he has a big fish. Oh yeah, woo baby, yeah, I got the bass, got the bass, yes, all right, mm. we'll give him a kiss, we'll give him a kiss, and say goodbye to this nice guy, see you later guy, <laughs> yeah, Cedar Creek Lake baby, boom. Now let's get this mess undone off my line. Break out the scissors and start cutting. Woo! Another lunker. Another lunker. Nice size fish. Nice size fish. Yes, baby. Cedar Creek. Gotta love it. You should be from O'Brien. Lisa Cruz for $169 a month or Malibu for $199 a month. At O'Brien Gates Chevrolet in Frankfurt, you'll get big city deals with a small town feel. Visit us at O'BrienGatesGM.com. You should be buying from O'Brien. PRC covers are superior rod covers, handcrafted so that they will not fray, they will float, and most importantly, they'll protect your fishing rods.
There are different types and sizes to fit any fishing rod you might have in your arsenal, from casting to spinning and even ice fishing rods. Have a custom logo or a special event coming up? Head on over to trccovers.com and place your order today. TRC covers are specifically designed to protect your fishing rod investment. Tackle Tags, a tackle management system to organize your equipment and maximize your time on and off the water. Spend less time fighting tackle and more time fighting fish. Using color-coded illustrations, these weatherproof premium labels apply directly to the face of your tackle boxes and reels. Quickly identify what line is on which reel and easily find the right lure. Easy to use, just peel and stick. Tag it, find it, fish it. The original Tackle Tags. Relay for life, because there's so much to live for. Help the American Cancer Society finish the fight. Walk, join, donate now. Hey guys, Kyle Feaster here again with Real Fishing in Kentucky for Gone Fishing Pro. We had plans of going to Cedar Creek Lake today, but when we got there, man, the water was ridiculously low, and, uh, and it was crowded. So we came back out to Taylorsville today, and uh, I found this nice little cove. It's a little brisky today. Uh, when I say brisk, I mean wind brisk. And uh, I'm trying to navigate all these stumps and stuff. And I've had one good bite in here so far. I need to slow this trolling motor down. And I'm, uh, I got him in the live well. Oh. There's another one. Ah, just a tiny guy. It's all right though. We'll take him. What's two today? Oh, fun, fun. Look at that. Ah, little guy. Hey guys. Tyler Feaster and I'm back and I'm still in this cove at Taylorsville Lake, Kentucky. And I'm telling you, I got to the dead end of this thing in about four to five foot of water and I'm seeing shad jump and bass running them like crazy. So what do I do? I put on a shad crankbait and looky here. Woo! Yeah, decent sized little fish. So I'm gonna keep on doing this and see what we can find and get a little bit more fish in the live well. So keep the faith guys. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. It's a good fish. <laughs> yeah baby. Oh y'all some. Nice little fish there. That's fish number three today. I found this little sweet spot with all these stumps and shad jumping all over the place. Um, I mean guys when you have opportunity you use it. <laughs> All right, so basically I've been just kind of 360 and around the boat. Protec Boat, Auto, and RV products are second to none. Trying to make your engine shine and get them hard water spots off? 
Protex Water Spot Remover. It's exactly what you're looking for. On the go or at the campground, want to bring a quick shine back to your boat? Grab Protect Product Showroom Conditioner, spray on and wipe off. Looks like a brand new wax. Make sure you keep a Protect Care Kit in your boat, car, and RV. Go to ProtectProducts.com or call the number below and get your order placed now. So we're out here today at an undisclosed location in Georgetown with local tournament angler Charles Morrison who's been gracious enough to show me the art of bed fishing today and we've had some good luck caught quite a few small ones decent sized ones and uh, it's been a lot of fun so we're working this is kind of a hot pocket we had this morning and we're going to hit it again before the day and the sun sets and see how good we can do and uh, we'll call it a day hopefully get you a fish or two on camera and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the show so far we got one more location that we're going to be doing down in Center Hill Tennessee uh, Center Hill Lake Tennessee fishing with my brother and it's been it's been a blast kind of fishing up and practicing and getting ready for the tournament at Barron River and we'll uh, We'll keep hitting these beds we see. I see one right there. That's a dark cloud. Let's hit, let's hit that and see what happens. Oh. That's a yeah. That's a ha ha ha. That dark shadow. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, ate that hook. There we go. That right there. That's a nice ass fish right there. Too big to fit in camera frame, guys. What do you say? Five and a half, six pounds? Yep, without a doubt. All right, let's let her go. See you later, girl. All right. I think that's the biggest fish I've caught all year, guys. Woo! Yeah. I'll show you what, what we're using. I will give you that much information. That right there is a Tennessee orange three and a half inch crawl. from Cabin Creek Baits. Did I get the moss or the fish? <laughs> there we go. Feisty. Feisty. <laughs> oh, with that moss, he must weigh at least three pounds. Good Lord, look at that. Let's get the fish off first. Tiny. Here at Hercules Outdoor Industry, all our products are made right here in the USA. From our fiberglass blind to our 1,200 pound monster electric feeder to our gravity feeders that are also 1,200 pounds. We got road feeders for the front of your truck. All Hercules products are made right here in the USA. If you're interested in becoming a dealer, look us up online and give us a call. Or if you're just an individual looking for a new blind or feeder for your hunting area, look us up. I'm sure we can find something that'll fit your needs.
Hurricane Bay Charters. We find them, you catch them. For PTSD and things that they're going through, they just needed to get their mind off of something. Um, get their mind away from thinking about what we did uh, overseas and just kind of focusing on what's in front of you. Pink Fishing was formed for a way anglers could unite to raise awareness and funds for breast cancer. Over 200,000 people will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year, elevating Pink Fishing's cause to a whole new level. Each purchase you make will help raise awareness. Through fishing, we can make a difference. Pink Fishing, it's all about reeling in the cure. Hooligan Charters, your number one destination for guided inshore and nearshore fishing. Based in Destin, Florida, owned and operated by two Green Beret veterans gone fishing guides who stop at nothing to provide your best day of redfish, trout, flounder, snapper, kingfish, and more. Don't miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Call the Hooligans. I can see I can see the rocks underwater. Okay, yeah. We're shallowing out. It's definitely warmed up some. Mm -hmm. Pouring rain this morning. Yep. Took three hours to get on the water. <laughs> that was my fault. Because <laughs> little brother didn't stop at Walmart on the way in and buy his fishing license, assuming didn't listen to older brother. I figured that all the marinas around here would sell fishing license. No, they don't. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. It's been fun though. We got to break in the new boat. The water's, pr it's murky, but yet you can still see it through it in the shallows. It's, it's, I guess it's cloudy more than anything, but uh, it's been a fun day fishing in Tennessee. Even though we're real fishing in Kentucky, we're real fishing in Tennessee today. And uh, man, it's shallow. It's still three feet though. Yeah, it's holding three. It just dropped a little bit more. They're off the beds. I mean, I really haven't even seen a bed, evidence of a, but a bed for a fish to even be off of at this point. What are you casting? What am I casting? You got a worm? I got a worm on. Texas rig. That's a pumpkin seed lizard. <laughs> yeah, the the pumpkin colors have been really all that's produced today for us. Yeah. But it's been it's been uh, it's been fun. But it's been a little slow for us. Oh. Let me get the line in, let me get the line in. Hit it right at the boat. Right at the boat. Get her in here. That's, that's definitely the biggest one of the day. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ah, 13, 14? Maybe? 13. I'll call it Eggs. 2.50. Not bad at all. Sweet. Throw it for that camera. There you go. <laughs> Brag, it's the biggest fish of the day. If that, yeah. Bunch of little boogers tearing up my worms. Nice. All right, sweet. Gone. Send her back. All right, so we're out here back at Taylorsville for the 
second time this year, I think, at least for me. And uh, the water has definitely cleared up from the last few times I've been out. I mean, you could, you could grow corn in this booger when I first came out here this year. It was so muddy. But uh, we're out here with Justin Risk, who fishes for Trinity's High School fishing team. And uh, he's definitely looking at becoming a pro angler as he goes through his career. So do us all a favor and check out his Facebook page. You can find it, follow his journey, see what kind of fish he's catching. He's done pretty well at Cumberland this year in a high school tournament. Well, a lot of laydowns on this compared to where we were at. More like a mix. It is a mix. I mean, we fished mud, we fished rock, and we've had a lot of fun. But I would say pretty much every fish we've caught today has been off rocks. Well, how many have we caught on rocks today? You know, most lot fish. No giants yet. No giants yet. Did you get one? Right at the boat. <laughs> Decent. Decent. Golly. Think about to slip down my hands. Here, I got your pole. I got your pole. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah, these are good. Oh, yeah, that's decent. That's the best one of the day. There's two. Gosh, dog, I hate doing that. There. Get up here and show them. Show everybody what you got. <laughs> There you go. Trinity High School fish team right there. That's the future. I about went for a swim. There you go. Good job, man. Good job. There we go. All right, Taylorsville Lake. Trinity High School, Justin Risk, guys. Catching the biggest fish today. Outfish me. Oh, I'll tell you what. That's the fun stuff. Thanks, guys. Well. Our journey with Gone Fishing Pro for 2016 has, has finally come to an end. I'm sitting here in my multi-seat out here at Beaver Lake, Kentucky. I thought I'd take an opportunity to kind of go through some of the products and uh, gear that we used this season to have a pretty fun and successful season. So we've got a lot of summer ahead of us, but spring is out. So I kind of wanted to, to go through all this stuff uh, with you. One of my favorite crankbaits that, uh, that I used this year was the the Raw Outdoors uh, a live bait. It's got that broken bone in it, you know, so it swims like a live action. Uh, one of the cool things that I liked about that was is that the, uh, the connectors in between was actually made of cloth, which made a deadly combination with my JB's fish sauce uh, fish scent. I uh, particularly use garlic a lot. That was one of my favorites, but it's, it comes in crawfish, it comes in coffee, uh, garlic, anise, you name it, and in multiple applications. Spray, you know, the squeeze gels, little chapstick and deodorant tubes for easy clean application. So that's good stuff. Um, it, was, it was real deadly. Now as it started getting a little bit warmer, things started, the fish started moving toward the banks and I really wanted to wake them up. Um, I started using some custom bait company jigs and rigs um, they make a, a phenomenal swim jig that i love using um, of course fantastic little chatter bait there wobblehead bed fishing and then this uh underspoon jig head that pairs well with a really nice shad swim bait had a lot of luck with the rock walls and taylor's uh Bear river lake sorry on that one after the tournament the next one is Jinko Fishing. Now these guys are coming out with a lot of new baits all the time. You need to check them out. This one right here is the Big Wig Jig. 
um, and it, it, it it's its ability to mimic a bait fish is phenomenal um, with the with the glittered skirt and the uh, bird feathers in there this thing you toss it on a rock wall let it sink pop it back up uh, those fish sitting on the rock wall they can't resist it I'm telling you another awesome product that we uh, we didn't use a lot on the boat but it has a, a good opportunity for that but it's the uh, the deeper smart sonar and it's wireless and it's really phenomenal for any type of bank fishing um, if, if you're doing any type of pond fishing because what this thing does is you, you tie it to the end of your line like a bait on your pole and you cast it out and when it hits the water it automatically turns on and it will feed sonar back to your phone Temp just like a normal fish finder temperature depth sonar graph everything you name it um, and it does come with a with an easy boat adapter it doesn't come with it it's an accessory but it's definitely worth buying and what that does, it allows you to hook it to your boat, um, or what's really even better for you kayak fishermen, it works, it works perfect on a kayak connecting it to it so that it's stable and you don't have to tie it off to a pole. So check these guys out, that's good stuff. Steve's Custom Fishing Rods. This guy puts 110% of his focus, I mean, they're not ugly rods, don't get me wrong, it's a good looking rod, but 110% of his focus is strictly to quality. I mean, you're, you're gonna get you know, a, a quality blank uh, quality grips, the quality time to make it built, eyelets, um, and, and you get your input on it. So you definitely need to check him out. I think I'm just going to sit here and, and relax in front of the lake a little bit more and chill out on my multi-seat. You need to grab one of these guys. If you're a camper, outdoors enthusiast, you know, hunter, it doesn't matter. This thing's got a multitude of applications that haven't even been thought of yet. So we've had fun this year. I hope you all have enjoyed the show. I know we had a blast doing it. Check all of our sponsors out. Go to our Facebook page for Real Fishing in Kentucky. All their website links, Facebook page links to find all this awesome product is on there. Go out, grab some, start chatting with them, and get you some product in your boat, in your camper, and get outdoors and get fishing. Thank you all so much. We've had a blast. I hope to see you.